Hey guys and welcome to Starbound or should I say welcome back to Starbound. We're going to be doing a new series from the ground up from the start um, with no mods and it's going to be a, the 1.3, I think 1.3.1 mech update. Um, currently I have no internet so I don't really have anything else better to do so I might as well be playing something like this. I've wanted to start a series from the ground up based on the uh, mech update for a while now so I might as well start now. We're going to be a Florin and I was deciding whether to do casual or survival. Now with survival you have to eat to survive, which I am very, um, I like that aspect, but the drop items on death will become, it will become a little bit annoying. I'm not saying I'm bad at the game and I'm going to die a lot, but I remember dying quite a lot normally and I'm usually I was full of resources and I don't really want to lose them. So unfortunately I'm going to go casual because there's no death penalties. Well, there is a death penalty. You lose 10% of pixels. Um when you die so I mean there is still a penalty to dying but at the same time I don't need to eat which is a little unfortunate but at the same time there is a mod that allows eating in casual which I'm gonna get the first chance I get but for now it's just gonna be basic and we're not gonna skip the intro mission we're gonna go through it normally uh, as if we were starting a new game well which we are obviously <laughs> I also adjusted my mic so it's closer to my face so I'm gonna have to learn to talk a little bit quieter so I can already see it on my other monitor slightly in the red when I'm talking I might have to lower that all right here we go and in my other st series which was a modded series um, I basically skipped all this stuff and created a custom a custom character with a maxed matter manipulator um, really high level gear stuff like that this time I'm starting from the beginning, so obviously my matter manipulator, when I get it, is going to be very... Soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter manipulator. Yeah, it's very exciting, except I'm only going to be able to um, do a 2x2 two two block radius. I think, yeah, I only I have exactly enough pixels to buy something, so I might as well just get a soda. It doesn't really matter. It'll give me a slight boost of energy for like 20 seconds or something like that. It's not very much. But yeah, I started when in the modded series. I ba I basically started out as a god already. Um, I was still weak, but I start. I basically did a custom character this time. I'm just starting from the beginning, so this will be interesting. Obviously, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the crafting because you don't really need to see me build an entire house. Um, I might I might do what I did last time in the last series where I might uh, show you the building, but. Um, My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years we have stood proud on here on earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task, to perfect our fellow beings, to support, house, and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster according to Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present them each with our new with our greatest tool. The Matter Manipulator. Huh? What was that? Giant tentacle monsters, dude. We better run. What? What the? Oh, too late. They got you. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Ha 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 ha. Tentacle joke. Alright, let's grab this. And just pauses time to tell you, hey, cool, you got that. Okay. Obviously, this is the intro mission, so it's not going to be difficult at all. It just uh, basically just teaches you the basics of this uh, tool and the basic controls. I'm going to keep the tutorials on just in case if, um, so I have a few new subscribers, maybe they'll like to uh, watch the series. Um, so I'm going to leave that on just in case if you guys want to play. I won't, I won't be narrating everything he's saying, but I will try to cut in uh, if it's something important. Although I'm not really a voice actor, so... <laughs> and my voice cracks a lot, so... which is annoying. Uh, right, I do have to go through here. Yep, it's a little different starting out with such a weak matter manipulator. It takes a very long time to upgrade this, but thankfully... With the mech update, I, I've noticed matter manipulator modules are actually fairly common. Why did why did it automatically equip? 
Oh, I have it locked for some reason. Let's see, are all my controls the same? Yeah, I have R, R to open um, inventory. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it's F to, for matter manipulator. It's different controls, but it's something I'm more used to. It's more similar to like Warframe controls in a way, which is uh, more familiar to me. Some healing items, let's get on board. That was the quick little intro. I'm assuming th th these will probably be like 20 minutes long, so I, th I think I'm fairly um, okay with uh, upload length, as long as it's no more than uh, 20 minutes or so. Alright, here we are, and obviously we're a Florin, so we have that weird slug pet. Oh, and um, it's, it's... Oh, I can't open that yet. To like my lore of this character, um, because I'm a Florin, I'm obviously in it for the domination of other races, so I'm going to be doing a lot of boarding enemy ships and friendly ships and just, well, I mean, it's it, it doesn't really count as stealing when you're boarding a friendly ship and taking their resources, but that's what I'll be doing mostly. So now we have to go down to the surface, which is always a peaceful world, thankfully. It'd be kind of cool if um, if you started this game on, like, survival or even hardcore, if the planet you started on was actually um, randomized, that to be a little bit harder. But yeah, obviously, unfortunately, I don't need to eat, so food's not going to be an issue. I still will pick it up and make food, um, because it'll give me um, healing bonuses, um, as well as just eating a single piece of food will... Uh, fully uh, fill my character's belly, which means I'll be able to start healing immediately. Start picking up some resources. So basically what we're going to do is, after a short period of time of just being on the planet, um, it'll tell me, uh, Sail will tell me that there's an archaic energy source that I need to find. And then once I get there, a message comes through which tells me to pick up core fragments, and there's two ways to get them. Going, to, going through a mine that's always spawns on this planet, or uh, just simply digging down to the core of the planet and just digging up there, which it takes a very long time with a basic matter manipulator, so I won't be doing that. I will be doing the mining thing, which is fairly easy. <clears throat> I just have to defeat a Mother Pop Top, which drops 20 core fragments, which is exactly what I need. For, I, I thought that bird was attacking me for a second there. Just a bit of coal, because we will be needing torches. The funny thing about the mech update is you can get you can get the mech, I think, as as soon as you get onto the um as soon as you get to the outpost, you can basically get your basic mech. So we can start that almost immediately. But it's gonna be difficult. Oh shoot. And they break up in little pieces. There you go. Five pixels, not great for that enemy. It's a pretty difficult enemy when you start too, but you only get five pixels. Let's boil some rice. It'll unlock, usually unlocks recipes. But I can see here, I just eat just one piece, popcorn. Now I'm going to be full, so I'm going to be healing, as Sale just says there. Ooh, some iron ore. Some more on my left there too. Another thing I'm going to do is once I gain access to <clears throat> like medium level planets, I just want to start a home base on a planet that's something not other than peaceful because I want to start a colony and get some colony deeds and stuff. And if I, um, the rewards that they give you for rent, um, the better rewards um, increase as your, um, as the planet's threat level increases. So basically, if I put my base on a volcano, which has like an extreme threat level, um, the rewards I get are going to be better, and sorry for the voice cracks, I can't help it. I'll try to minimize that as much as I can, but I, I simply cannot help it. I'm just going to have to basically start to learn, start to accept that, that my voice is just going to be fucking cracked up for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> it's very annoying because I, I, I like to do like uh, voice acting like light voice acting, voicing characters and stuff like that, but I can't because I'll, I'll be in a, an emotional moment of the game and then I'll just, I'll squeak, so. Let's try to get these two trees here and then keep heading in this direction. Nope, nope. 
Oh, you bastard. Thankfully, it, it pretty much saves um, how far you were in the progress of mining something, basically. It would be kind of cool if we came across a weapons chest or something, so we can get a little better weapon. Yep, there we go. Now he's saying that there's an archaic energy source. And then I have nothing better to do, even though I technically do. Which is farming up these resources. I'll pick up ores if I come across them, but not wood or anything like that. Because we got enough resources to be able to do pretty much anything. I'm not sure if I have mud. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. Because we need that for a basic furnace to start smelting, <coughs> smelting ores anyway. Another one of these guys. Yeah, my game still does that. I'm not sure if that happens for everyone. But I still I still get the thing where the game will often... Is there anything under here? Let's check. I think I'll get the recipe for the stone brick anyway, even if I just break through. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything down here. <coughs> <coughs> Hmm, okay. Usually there's like a chest or something. Okay, let's go back up, I guess. But yeah, as I was saying, the game game will often... Oh, jeez. Night creature. The game will often lag out a bit. And it's, it, and it's the game, not my computer, because... Like, a, especially a game like this, it's barely using any resources. Oof, that was a stupid idea. God, I got, I got, I got to be careful because I keep forgetting my my microphone's right on my left side or above my head. I keep bumping into it. Boom, boom, boom. three hits. You're dead. These are just yellow flowers. Let's cook some stuff. Seven baked potatoes. Although, well, yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say it'll probably go bad if I cook it, but at the same time. It doesn't really matter. That's that's fine. Let's just eat something. Baked potato. Just so I can save on the selves. There's one core fragment. There's, there's usually, uh, up until the pop-top pop -top fight, you can probably pick up maybe ten of them. So, so you'll get some extras. Okay, here's, here's a weapon. A pistol. Four damage, but 13 energy per shot. That's a very bad ratio. I mean, I'll take it just because I don't have a pistol. But that's a very bad ratio. And this is 10 damage per swing versus 6. But this is also a spear. Uh, hmm. Let's put the spear in 2 for now. Okay. Yeah, I don't really like blink explosions at all. It'd be nice if there was something else on the on the effect here, but I'll take it. Ooh, a saxophone, a musical instrument. All I see is cash, because I can sell that for a thousand pixels or so. There's one matter manipulator module, so we got two so far. And we need sorry, is it area of effect, we need oof, twelve. Jeez. Another sword. Oh, that's a short sword. Don't really like short swords. There's a hammer. 15 damage. We'll put that on... What is this? 5? Yeah, 5. We'll test it out. What's the secondary? Ooh, energy aura. That's actually pretty good. Short sword. We're getting a lot of weapons so far. Right away. That's pretty lucky. Good thing about uh, radiation damage is it does a damage over time. It's not very powerful, but it's just because this is a low-level weapon. You can also do this, kind of. And you can also move this out of the way, but whatever. It, it, it resets every time you open a container, so it doesn't really help that much.
Yeah, this this is actually very good. So now when they get close, they're gonna, they're gonna be dealt for that toxin uh, per second. Unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to um, repel enemies, but that's okay. Okay, where's my flashlight? Ah, jeez. No, I, I know I picked up a flashlight. Where is it? Oh, that's right. Ne I never opened up my ship locker. Duh. That's why I don't have a... Uh... Oh, let's make some torches, I suppose. Let's try the pistol out. Oh, it's also very slow. Yeah, it's not really worth it. I'll probably end up selling it. That's, that's the only good thing about spears, is you can hold it down. Another hammer. Ooh, it kind of it it kind of fits my character, doesn't it? As a florin. It kind of looks like it's um almost plant-like in nature. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a captain's hat. Doesn't really fit my character. The game still does that too. You you press you press take all and it doesn't do anything. Like that. Just did it again. Oh, that didn't count? Oh, that sucks. Oh, those rock guys suck. Oh, they're so annoying, because then they go in their little... They go in a little hidey mode. Let's heal up a little bit in this tent. I should actually put some healing on my hotbar, just because. Put it with the pistol. I might end up just trying to double click a lot just so I, to make sure I obtain the ammo. Oh, I guess I'm not going the right way. Unless it's further down to the left. Okay, another sword. Rod sword, two handed. It's already better than this one. So, and it's got the flying slash, which is pretty good. It's just a, It just fires a beam. Seven damage, that's it? Oh, geez, that's kind of terrible. That's the special attack of the weapon, and it only does that much. I suppose it uses energy, so there's an advantage to it. So I can just use that and then go in with a slash. Monkey creature. Okay, so it isn't even this way. Interesting. Huh. It's not this way either. That's very interesting. I don't, I don't remember seeing another path. So I have half of them. I have half the cores I need. Huh. Well, I guess I'll keep looking, I suppose. Kind of wish they'd fix the stuttering. I mean, I've, I've seen this game play fine for other people. So, I don't know. There we go. Yep, I'm here. So if I, I can just basically kill this mother pop top and then just basically leave. Okay, let's see what I got for weapons. These will work nicely. Come on. I know you're there. There you are. Nine damage. These are excellent for this. I probably have enough to kill it too. Easy. Yep, and there we go. 20 core fragments for whatever reason. And I think you can get some more from these crates, too. Oh, jeez. Get away from me. Jesus. Alright, here we go. And thankfully, we have the core fragments. I will wait until this this um, dialogue stuff. My scans are picking up an unknown thing. If, you're, if you've picked up this message, you must have found an ancient gateway. Please use it to come find me. You can power up the gate with core fragments. And I have 35, so we can activate it. 
I have scanned for nearby core fragments, and then he tells you they appear naturally within the geology of this planet. I've seen a, a few people start this game, and they and they say, "Oh, you have to, I have to dig to the um, core of the planet," but you actually all you have to do is just go to that mine shaft. Another message is coming through. Please come. I urgently require help. The universe depends on us. Use use this ancient gateway and meet me in the Ark ruins just past the outpost. And of course, now we get to go to the outpost. And with that, I think that's a, a good end to the first episode of this uh, series. Um, in the next episode, we're going to visit the outpost and start the main quest. So yeah, thanks for watching.